Right, everyone. Web Glitter here. Right. Normal Friday night stream. The normal stuff, you know. Nothing unusual with this one. So, yeah, just wait for some people to get on. Chat about whatever. Um, maybe you can, maybe you want to chat about the new bottle cutting competition uh, where you can win some prizes if you can beat me. Um, yeah. The Americans are going to have a slight issue with this one because their bottles are either massively bigger or a bit smaller. And the issue with the smaller ones, they're harder to keep standing up. They'd be, in, in fairness, though, I think they'd be easier to cut through, but harder to keep up. Because obviously, if they're smaller, they'll tip, they'll fall over easy, but there's less to cut through. So, Paul, Al Ryan, Rich, you're right. Did you see my Twitter message, Rich? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you joining. That should be good. You can all hear me, can't you? You're going to test my microphone quickly, so excuse the scratching on the thing. Yeah. Will, you're right, mate. Nice one, Rich. Yeah. Yes. So the competition may be slightly different than we thought. Um, yeah, I may do a separate one for the Americans if they have a big issue with, you know, the bottles. If it makes a hell of a difference. I chose half gallon because I thought ours are four pint. A half gallon is 3.3 pints, whereas a gallon is 6.6 .6 pints. So that's a lot bigger. It's the closest I could get for them, really. Big pattern, I'm here. Um, how are you all? Yeah, how was you all, troops? Yeah, not bad, mate, not bad. Big B said, going to the scrapyard tomorrow, look for a motorbike parts. Can't fucking wait. Nice one. Yeah, that'll be good. Lancaster, Ronkin, you right, mate? Brandon Blades, you right? Stug, you right? Yeah, good to see you on. So, yeah, we'll just chat about any old thing. So, yeah, the bottle cutting competition. I may make... A special knife for that. I got yeah. I want to make a fucking really really good bottle cutter for this competition. Purely for this bottle comp bottle cutting competition. Victor said, "How do you get your machete that sharp?" I'll be honest with you, that machete is not even paper cutting sharp. I'll show you if you want. Oh, just unhook this quickly. This ain't as sharp as it looks. I don't know if it's technique or... I mean, it's sharp, but let's see if it's paper cutting sharp. This is actually quite thick stuff, this. Um, it may cut this. Uh, see? Not as sharp as it looks. It ain't bad. But it's not... Um, it's not as sharp as... It looks, if that makes sense. I just use those um, four-sided diamond grit sharpeners. And uh, four-sided diamond grit sharpeners. And then occasionally a stone, you know, a, a sort of a wet stone or um, a bit of sandpaper. Stark said, I was recovering from the last stream. Yeah, fuck's sake. I um, puked my guts up the next day. Drunk that whole bottle and then <laughs> tried drinking some wine. Um, and then the next day I woke up drunk, um, stayed up for a little bit, decided I want to go back to bed because my hangover was coming on. Yeah, and then I just puked up loads and loads of water. Yeah, it was, it was good though. <clears throat> Big piece. I like the Gazden flag on the helmet. Yes, one there and a little one there that says YouTube. Don't tread on me. I got that ages ago off of um, Serene Madness. Dear love, happy birthday, mate, if that's today. You're right, mate. Brandon said, do you have an Xbox? No, I've got... I'm looking over there for controller. PS4. Pat said, what's the end date? What, for the competition? Um, any? I'll, I'll go till after Christmas, I reckon. I ain't in no rush. James said, have you ever been in self-defense situation? Yeah, sort of. I have been in fights. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose I have. Iron right, Man, you're right, mate. Jamie said, how's your week been? Not bad, you're right, Jamie. Yeah, not bad, mate. Dieter's evening, Mike. Hope all's good and everyone else. 
I'm good. I'm good. My mum's back now. Um, she's a bit weak, so I've got to do quite a lot for her. But um, she's back and better. Tactical pirates are slivers in and pulls a Mooney. <laughs> and I haven't wiped, for fuck's sake. That's something I don't ever want to see. <laughs> Not just from you, but anyone. An unwiped Mooney. <laughs> fuck's sake. Right, tactical. Tax slave said, um, they don't tread on me thing. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And God said, I finished the bill hook, Bowie. Oh, nice one. Can you, can you, if you got a fit, you're going to do a video of it or anything? Send me some pictures or something. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. If you do a video, message on my latest video. Say, Mike, I've done, I've done a bow. Do you want to see it? I'd love to see that, Lancaster. Daryl Love said, Well, you got a good memory, Mike. Thank you. It's happy birthday, mate. Iron Man said, Give my mate a shout out. He's called Lee Haynes. There you go, Lee. You're right, Lee Haynes. <laughs> Doug said, I haven't watched Serene's video in videos and ages. He's a good bloke, isn't he, old Serene Madness? He comes on here occasionally. So I'm, I'm going to go through the old things tonight. Rich said, Mike, are the one litre cardboard orange cartons in America? Sam's asked. I'll have to have a look, Rich. The problem is, I never ever get hold of them, so it, I, I wouldn't be able to join in in that. I never ever get them cartons. What I'll have to do, if, if this one don't work quite right, I'll just do another one down the line and we'll do those cartons. But I never, ever have them cards, ever. Zed, Jeremiah, Shine, you're right. Jumble Sabu, you're right, mate. He said, hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? <laughs> Thank you, Tactical. Yeah, she's she's all right now. She's still recovering. She ain't fully back. She's got, like, a, a bloody Zimmer frame to walk around. She can't walk very far. She couldn't walk very far anyway, but she used to at least be able to walk out the house and get to her car and that. Can't do that at the minute, but... She's home and she's all right. Freddie, you're right, mate. Is everyone liking the stream, by the way? you got to like the stream every time I do that. <laughs> or drink every time I do that. it be fucked in about 10 minutes. Uh, Big B said, I was planning on getting a Gadsden tattoo before lockdown. Oh, nice one. Yes, yeah. Sydney, you're right, mate. Vancar said, I'll show you on Instagram. Well, I went for a more sword like. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. The Pagan King, you're right, mate. Sydney said, "Cool, your submissions for the bottle cutting challenge are going to be hard to beat." <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, I did deliberately give it a good old go. Fucked up with the knife. Um, I need a thinner knife. Although that's a thin blade, it's wide blade, so there's a lot to cut through. But I said everyone could have three chances. I've had to do all three because everyone needs something to beat. You know what I mean? But yeah. I hope people still join in though. Don't worry if you, you know, if you don't think you can beat eleven altogether, everyone still have a go though. Show off your blades and you can show off your cutting. Yeah, and I've said say hi to your mum for me. Cheers, mate. I will do. Carl, you're right. You're right, Carl. Jeremiah Shine said, I so want to Hack the end of a weed hacker. Alas, it's my only one. Yes, you want to do it, mate. Now, yeah, I'm tempted to... Where is it? I'm now tempted with this one to make myself the ultimate bottle cutting blade. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know if I'll do it machete size or knife size. 10 inch blade. But I'm going to do it a nice... Because the problem is, with the bowie I used, it's got a big handle. I think you need a very slim handle for bottle cutting, for precise cutting. You know what I mean? That would guess what um, some idiot had done. I don't know. You have to let me know, mate. Penis, hello. Lewis, you right, mate? So I'm getting a torch sent out to review soon. Do you want me to ask them to send you one? They go for 150 quid plus. Yeah, nice one, Lewis. Yeah, I'm up for that, mate. Yep. Yeah. Funny you I ain't had no... Um, torches all this year i don't think good when you get them out expensive torches i've got one under my fucking sofa 250 quid for a fucking torch yeah thank you Lewis. cheers mate dumbo sabu said mike further to our discussion on customs getting anal i sent a christmas package to a friend in the u.s before it got on the plane they opened it and removed a tiny bottle of whiskey that's so demented isn't it now that they're doing that it's getting to the point where I don't think I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to avoid buying anything foreign now. It's fucked up. 
Number two, Abuja. Looking at the rules, you can't send any weapons at all now, legal or not. That's why the legal knives sent from us, US to the UK via UPS have been. Is that what it is? I did not know that. <clears throat> oh, so that's going to be an issue then. Yeah. So sending out anything like that to anyone now is going to be an issue. That's right. I'll have to try and remember that, especially if America wins the uh, cutting competition. They may, they may have to just have. Um, We'll see anyway. I'm going to try and send them anything. But Richard said, if I finish the saber and officer sword in time, I'll enter them for a second and third attempt. Use the contest to show my work in action. Very good idea, Rich. That's a perfect idea. <clears throat> yeah, I might do. What I'm tempted to do, Rich, is make a bottle cutting knife. So it'd be a 10 inch bladed knife out of one of these. Just, you know, just like a, a cleaver type end, won't even be pointed. With a nice, real nice handle that you can line up nice and straight every time. I may even model the handle off of the GI Tanto because I noticed that's got a very nice, sort of sleek handle that you know which way up it is. Jeremiah says he has a cold steel whacker. Nice. What one of these? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they do do them, don't they? The Warncliffe would do it. Yes, that Jeremy, Jeremiah, that'd do, wouldn't it? Actually, I've got a negative COVID result. While well, celebrating on Monday, I was pissing about with a knife and ended up getting 12 stitches. Oh, fuck, that's a proper cut then. For fuck's sake. What did you do? So, yeah, 12, 12, stitches is a pro 12 stitches is a proper cut. Jumbo said, so I reckon now they're stopping private knife purchases from outside of the UK. They will eventually ban knives for sale in the UK. You watch. Sounds like it possibly could, isn't it? You know, it's fucking fucked. <clears throat> That's all I can say on that. It's just mad, isn't it, though, Riggs? Fucked up. <laughs> Tax Slave said, did they change the weapon laws? No, no, it's just that um, there's not, I don't think there's been any official law changes. It just seems like customs and that. And Well, not that I know of the actual selling stuff anyway. Ray for Dreams and YTD, you're right. And he said he's high as fuck. Good for you. <clears throat> Uh, Lewis said, I sent the PR rep a message. Oh, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. That'd be good. It'd be good to have something to review. Maybe have that as one of the, the uh, prize giveaways. <laughs> Stug said, did you hear about YouTube will put ads on non-partner videos? I've, I have heard that, Stug. I was saying to Liam about that yesterday. There could be a little bit of a good thing about that, potentially. Remind me about that in a second when I catch up with the comments. I might have to put the slow mode on in a minute. Carl said, not having a garden, I have two careful sneaky bottles last in the woods. Yes. Well, if you can join in, Carl, I'd appreciate that. Obviously, if you can't or you ain't got time, you know what I mean? But it'll, if you can, yeah, put it on a stand and cut them like that. As I say, if, if people don't think they can beat mine, join in anyway. Because I think, I'll be honest with you, if people don't beat me, I'll probably just give the prize to the person below me anyway. But I've got a feeling people will beat me. <clears throat> Tactical said, miss the tendon by one millimetre. Serves me right doing shit whilst pissed. Yeah, that's the one thing I never do now. I've told myself a lot of times, never, ever fuck about with any weapons while you're drunk. It's easy to do, though. You know, easy to ignore. Sydney said, then people who have advertised survival knives as kitty knives. Exactly, that's what they'd have to do, Sid. Richard said, also got my forge, so it's burning a lot less coal. Worked out, it's burning 18 pounds of coal every 12 hours. Nice. That'd be good, Rich. I, like, I want to see you making things again. Big B said, just wait until um, everyone gets sick of the government and it's going to be a fucking shit show. Exactly. I will have to put the slow mode on, sadly. But, yeah, because I can't keep up at the minute. Where is it? Come on. I found it last time. I won't do a long one, though. Thank fuck I can put that on. <laughs> All right, catch up now. <clears throat> Dumble Sabu said they're getting around... They're getting around the law by just getting customs to stop it rather than... Yeah, because I was going to say, I always know if there's been a law change because you're quite good on them. You know it really early, don't you? So if ever there is a law change, Riggs normally finds out quite early and tells me, and then I can do a video on it. 
So I suspected there hadn't been an actual law change because you would have told me. Ped said, um, so jealous of you all who have a shed to work and make your own knives. Next year I'm getting a shipping container to make into a man. I oh, don't blame you. And I know what you mean, mate. It must be, a, if you want to make things, it must be a bastard. I think, I think if I ever got to a situation where I couldn't have a, um, a shed or something, I'd probably buy a van and make the back half of that like a shed. So I could just open the doors, pull down a bench, <laughs> have all the tools. Cause yeah, it'd do my head if I couldn't make things. Freddie said there's a YouTuber called Bobby Guy Films. He does wildfowl. His main gun dog has retired at two years from hip dysplasia. That's a shame. And then his next dog ran over. I can know that's a real shame, isn't it, Freddie? That's horrible. Um, who was it? Was it Stug saying about the ads they're putting on videos that don't have? Like they're gonna they're gonna start putting ads on channels that don't actually have monetization. So YouTube will earn money out of channels that don't actually um YouTube won't get paid. Not sorry, the channel won't get paid, but YouTube will. That's that's I think that's cuntish and money grabbing. One thing that could do though, that may help small channels get seen again though, because if they're putting this is official as well, Lewis. I've read it. Yeah, this is actually I've actually read this officially from YouTube as well. Yeah. But the one thing it might do for demonetized channels and small channels, if if YouTube are putting ads on their videos, that means the small the small channels may get shared more again. Who knows? I doubt it, but they're fucked up though, isn't it? Uh, Sydney said, are you allowed to put double-sided tape on the bottom of the bottles? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. If you, can, if you can get away with it, try it. <laughs> That's why you have to put the bottle on the thing. But, yeah, tactical. Sorry, I was getting a bit caught up in the moment. Yes, yeah, so I hope your fucking hands all right. Whatever it was you cut. You never said what you cut, did you, in the end? But, yeah, fuck that. Um, I'm glad you're all right and it was only 12 stitches, but 12 stitches ain't pleasant either, is it? Iron Man said, what's your best sandwich? Don't know. I'll be honest with you, Iron Man. I don't really like bread. Um, but when I did like bread, oh, I just thought of it. It's going to sound fucked. I'm, I'm a bit of an, I'm a bit like Elvis. It's just, I just miss out one ingredient. Peanut butter and bacon sandwich. <laughs> Maybe a bit of sour cream in there. The only thing Elvis would have done was added jam. Um, yeah, fuck didn't Lewis AR 15 or AK 47. AR 15 have always preferred the look of them. I always thought they looked more modern looking. Carl said, after getting mounted, yeah, it's, it's always it's good to have it. You've got your, your room in your um, your place, so ain't you? You've got like your own sort of little um, bit where you can do a bit of work, can't you? I don't think you'd be able to do too, you're like anger grinding in there. Well, I don't know, you might do, Carl. I don't know. But you, you've got a little bit, ain't you, at least? But I know, yeah, it, I, I do appreciate the fact that I've got a nice big shed full of stuff. Because to be honest, a lot of stuff I, I get away with not even buying because our shed is so well stocked full of, you know, screws and bolts and all shit like that that we've collected over the years. I don't even need to go and buy stuff like that after time. I, I, I do need to buy certain things, but little bits I get away with because we've just got it. <clears throat> Freddie said, if you don't get paid, I'll skip. If you get money, I'll watch that. I think, well, exactly, Freddie. Yeah, so if you start seeing ads on my videos, I ain't getting nothing for them. Um, but if you see ads on my channel and then the videos start getting higher, maybe do watch them. You know, the views get higher. Number Sour Boots, I loved your video on the knife catalog. Thank you, Riggs. I've got some more. I've got some more there. I will do some more. I've got a cold steel one. I've got a couple of old air rifle ones. And people really enjoy them videos, actually. They enjoy them more than I expect them to. Thank you, Riggs. Jeremiah said, I hope the small towns get their kind. Yeah, sounds like they ain't now. <laughs> Bastards, isn't they? That's a doing the old figure of eight. And hit my opposite arm. Yeah, as long as you can laugh about it afterwards. I'm a bit like that. that I can laugh about things after. <laughs> You have to, don't you? Sydney said the best thing to have is a vice. Yeah, vice is very, very handy. Yeah, I every project I do involves a vice pretty much. 
Carl said, yeah, not bad, but can't weld you now, run. Yeah, you've got not. I thought when I saw your setup, Carl, I did think that's a good setup for what you've got. You've you've done a good job in there. You've got your Ben Chent here and your voice and your, all your stuff. I, I did think that was a good setup for, for what you got. Because obviously, because it's indoors, you can't risk too much, um, you know. But yeah, it's good. Good setup. Teacher is a tactical part. I'm good. Just concerned. You got seven stitches. That's quite a cut, isn't it? 12 stitches. That's not a little cut, that. Did you have to go? Was you was you pissed when you went to the hospital as well? Because that's, that's not good either. Because they like to fuck about with that, you know, like, you know, you bleed more when you're drunk as well. Uh, Dom is making another display board for that old spec double barrel D shotgun I have, mate. Just about run out of room on the walls now. Need a bigger ass. Yeah, fuck, sir. Definitely send me some pictures of that, Rig. Even if I don't reply, you know I've seen them because I'll always mention them on here. You know what I'm like. But I do read your um, emails and I do look at the pictures. Just I have such a bad habit of thinking, oh, I'll reply later. And then, well, you know me because I reply on here. But I do appreciate you sending them things. It's always interesting to see someone, you know, other people's collections and displays and that. Big Ped said, was that your shed hut in the back of the cutting? Yes, yes, it's a good, yeah, it's a big size. It's, it's one side is big enough to fit a big car in. And then it's got a, a room on the other end of it where I do the, where I do the actual work. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty big. Yeah, that whole thing, yeah, that's that's the shed. Yeah. There ain't actually a car in it, but it was it was made originally big enough to put a car in. And there was a room, another room down the end, half the size of the other bit. <coughs> Jeremiah said, do a search on Dwayne Purvis, burger. Sorry, I've got fucking hiccups and that's a reflux. Peanut butter burger, fuck's sake. Yeah, it sounds mad. Jumps a bit. I've got a few vices. Boosting porn. <laughs> the Olaf said, Mike, if you had a hundred quid to spend on making a knife, um, where would you start? <sighs> what steel? I don't know, in all honesty, Daryl. Because I don't have the because I don't have the capability to forge, it would have to be some kind of pre pre hardened and tempered steel. So anything along those kind of lines, maybe three mil thick. I'd get a lovely bit of leather for the sheaf and get some accessories for the sheaf. Handle, some expensive wood maybe, or something else. Maybe some of those fancy sort of um, man-made materials you can get. Um, and the guard, don't know, probably brass still, because I like a bit of brass. It's easy to work with. Yeah, that's probably a boring answer, but... Rita said, Mike, you reckon that gun blue would bring out the grain structure in iron? That iron I'm using has a lovely grain structure. It looks similar to wood. It might do. Because I'll tell you what, on that um, on that last Bowie I did, that, did I blue? Yeah, I did blue that, didn't I? Yes. And that seemed to bring out some kind of grain effect. You, know, you can't see it on camera, but to make it out, you can see like a grain effect in that as well. But you like ate the off slow mode, don't you? <laughs> I man said, what single weapon would you take to survive with on Ireland? Some kind of decent thick machete, I think. I man thinking quickly. Vinegar, what's that car? What for the for the for the iron, you mean, or, or is that something else? There's, so much, there's a lot of um I'm behind on the chat, so I don't know. Jump I saw a video of a young UK guy making a Rambo 4 machete with just a grinder. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Ah, Stag said he is suppressing us. <laughs> you lot need suppressing. <laughs> Richard said you could get an expensive knife back for 40 quid and just do brass and wood. Well, I did fit maybe that. I'll tell you what, actually. That's a good point, Rich. Because you can get... You can get some really nice Damascus um, blanks that are a bit out of my price. So it would probably be that. I'd probably get a Damascus blank, maybe change the shape of it to my own shape, 
expensive bit of wood, maybe brass still. Because as I say, even if I had under a quid to spend on the materials, I've still only got basic tools to um, work on the actual uh, knife. Ninja Rabbi said, just got a Crossman 1377 today from Amazon. My CO2 pistols are just too loud to shoot in my apartment without fear of noise coming back. Yeah, that sounds good, mate. That's the only thing of shooting indoors, isn't it? All right, you can still comment, by the way, everyone. The slow mo is only 30 seconds, or have I suppressed you all so much that you can't... Uh... Yeah, I'll whack it back down to 20 for you now. Now I've caught up. So fuck it, it's like a dream being able to do slow mode again, though, at least. At least I can catch up without having to go through all the things. Jeremiah said, um, my pal passed me a chunk of triax. Um, actual leaf spring. Well, that's what you're going to make something out of that. Which one is the 1377, Kai? Is that that rifle that you've got? Or um, your mate had, anyway? Oh, it's the pump up. Yeah, Matt's got one of them. It's like the cross. It's like the pump up Crossman two two forty essentially. Right, Peach. Uh, yeah, put the pistol. Yeah, the pump up pistol one. Isn't it? Yeah, Flazzy. Right, mate. Gumbo Sabus. Have you seen them folding rubber band guns? They're multi shot. Only about a fiver. Thinking of getting one. All metal. I haven't rigs. No, no, I don't think I've seen them. Yeah, sounds interesting though. Or if I have seen it, I'm not aware of it. You know what I mean? Freddie said, if you could only have one gun to survive in the world, what would it be? Mind you, that my HW57 air gun, because pellets are light, can't take a PCP because of tank or pump. Yeah, it would have to be something like a spring-powered air rifle. Let's say legality wasn't an issue. A spring-powered pist- spring air rifle that was over the limit of UK limits. So, you know, if we're on a desert island, it don't matter what fucking... Um, foot pound it'd be so yeah so i'm kind of spring very basic spring air rifle good bait when i say basic i mean not a load of shit on it that can go wrong yeah that was overpowered as well so you know you've got a bit more kick to it yeah that'd do it carl definitely yeah w-i-e don't say jumble sail i used to have something like that when i was a kid Jeremiah said, lots of grinding. My anvil was stolen. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Make an anvil out of it? Anvil's nice. Just going to see if there's anything I missed. Big B said, do you ever wish that shit uh, would it have No. <laughs> no, not really. If maybe I lived on my own or something, but I've got too many people I'd have to look after that it would be very hard work. Um, yeah. Imagine how it do shit at the fan of someone who can't walk. And as a... Um, <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> After text home, are you right, mate? You tell me, Mike, what's your favourite 10 pump BB gun? Is it still possible to get good 10 pump um, made out of all wood and metal? Like back in this, I think you can. Funnily enough, saying that, um, Savage, <laughs> that one that they was just talking about, the 1377, that's a Crossman pump up one. You definitely can get them. I don't, in all honesty, though, I've fallen out of the information of air guns, if that makes sense, because I just, because I couldn't ever afford them, it was too much like teasing myself. So I'm unaware right now what is out there, what isn't. Um, but yeah, I bet there are. I bet there still are some modern ones and some old ones. I oh, want to make a spear, Jeremiah. Sorry, I'm getting a bit muddled here. Pete, anything new in the world of EDC? I want some new e new gear. Not that I've got Pete. I might start making. I'm going to practice doing saddle stitch soon. But to to practice the saddle stitch, I may make some little pendants out of leather with saddle stitch, and my knife logo in the middle, and then people can have them as little key rings, you know. 
Um, that may be what I do soon, just to practice a bit of Staddle Stitch. Thank you, Riggs. I'll watch that in a minute. Yeah, I might, I might do that because it also it's scrap, scrap leather as well, isn't it, um, Peach? So because you know any little bits like that, you ain't gonna have much use for them. Tactical said, I have that sorted. I'm plonking her on a roll later, pushing her out the show. <laughs> what the fucking um, shit hit the fans? <laughs> pushing her out the door and leaving her. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I think that's what you was getting at anyway. No, no offence if you weren't. Fucking hell. <laughs> Big Fred said, right. Um, so what was everyone's first ever air gun my first my first proper one i bought i've still got it and it was a bsa lightning my first proper full power air rifle that worked bsa lightning still got it and it still looks fucking new right there over 20 you know maybe 20 years old now 22 years old um my first pistol was a bb gun but my dad was always clever enough. I remember someone asking me on here if we'd ever, if we ever used to shoot ourselves with air guns. We didn't. And do you know what the other? I realised the other day why we'd never shot each other with air guns or anything like that. This was in the days when, if you wanted stuff like BBs, you'd have to go to a gun shop, right? If I went to a gun shop, I'd have to be took there by my dad. Um, so my dad would buy us the guns, but deliberately never buy us any BBs. So we never shot each other's eyes out. He said that would be cool. Yeah, but good little things, wouldn't it, I think? You know, something, isn't it? Carl said, sharpen over rifle in the 80s. Four pump, very powerful. I don't know that. Well, although I might do, Carl. Sometimes I know the gun, but don't know the name. Ninja Rabbit, I said, I'm really liking the 1377. Just found out that 177 darts fitted. Oh, nice. No, so I've got a couple of them. Yeah, for, yeah, the dart ball. Fred, so I'm going to play a game whilst watching you... Um, should be the Hunter or Red Dead Online or FIFA. Nice one. Enjoy your game, Freddy. <laughs> Take the crossbow to the wheelchair. Yeah, yes, good idea. <laughs> Tap said no, pushing, pushing her with me. She even has her own bug up. Oh, nice. That's why. That's why I said it was the way you wrote it. <laughs> I did say no offense because I thought if he doesn't mean that. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Arkler, Tech Homer Savage said, I played with my friend's dad's 10 pump in the 70s. And the action, whatever pressurized stuff is in there, is very thick and solid. Um, went full Hitler on some squirrels with it. <laughs> like say. Not good though. Jumbo Servos, mine was a GAT 177, 13. Forged a note to take to a local army surplus shop so I could buy it. Nice, that sounds great, Reese. Yeah. We, we never, up until I was about, you know, we'd had, we did have a sawn off Crossman pump up um, rifle for years, but it, the seals wasn't right. And we used to just shoot matches out of it. Um, yeah. But that, I would say I didn't have my first proper air rifle until I bought one myself. It's just because my mum and dad didn't want to, didn't want to get us, give us anything powerful. You know what I mean? Just in case. Uh, quite a few mentioning their guns there. I'll miss them because people can read what the guns are. Dieters have bought a 25 quid mystery box and DNA Leslie the other day. Never again. Very disappointing. Now, that's a shame. Ta uh, ask Tactical about his ones. Um, he's, he's bought some of them, but from Prepper's shop. Tactical there, it does now. I've read it back. Yeah, it sounded like you were saying you're just going to push her out the door and... <laughs> That's why I said, you know, don't take no offense. I thought bloody hell. Uh, Big peasant, Mike, do you still have the Commando Mark II cross? Yes, but it's broken. And I've, if you look on my channel, you'll find what I did to it. We was drunk one night, and Mark, it was very hard to cock that. You couldn't really cock it with your hands. Mark got pissed one night. We was all pissed, and he said, can I try and cock it? And he went and cocked it with his hands. But obviously, Drew cocked it like lopsided and we was drunk and it would have been too dangerous to sort of leave it or just take you know you wouldn't have been out to unhook it or something so i just said fire it when he fired it it broke the string broke the fucking part of the fucking um 
the prods, you know, I can't call them. The, um, yeah. So I've had to take them off now, and I put my own ones on, homemade ones. That fucking crossbow would have been worth about 800 quid now as well. Don't matter. <laughs> I was a bit gutted at the time. It's just one of them things, it just, you know, you're fucking pissed. And... But I have still got it, and it is in a sort of working order. If Have a look at putting Crossman... Now, Barnet Commando 2 crossbow on my channel, you'll find the stuff I did to it. And I have sort of got it working. Right, Joe, it's just it makes a horrible noise. So I get a bit sort of, uh, I don't know. Enjoy your old Red Dead, Freddy. Joe Toff said, um, at the armories in Leeds before COVID was brilliant. You've been, hello, Joe, by the way. No, I don't think I have. No, actually, no, no, because I've never been to Leeds. Um, that sounds good, though. I do like them kind of places. The highest up I've ever been is fucking Birmingham. Been, I've been loads of places down south, though. Yes, that's it, Big Ped. Yeah, that's the dry fire fucking story, yeah. I reckon he pulled it. It was just drunk, and he just pulled it back with his hands. And I reckon it was lopsided. And then I just said, shoot it. And then it fucking broke the thing. Yeah, go on, Jeremiah. You can ask me a question. Tactical said, Prepper's shop. Mystery boxes are okay. I've only had two crap knives out of them. That's all right, then, isn't it? James, right, mate? Are you back later, Pete? You're right, mate. James said, my first day arrived and my dad bought me for my 14th birthday. 2-2 two, two, RWS Diana. Yeah, you, you lot had some good guns. Like, yeah, my first proper air rifle. I'm pretty sure we did have other air rifles before, but I'd never call any of them proper air rifle. Uh, no, do you know what? I don't think we did. Malk had, Malk had an air rifle before me, though. Malk bought, at the age of, like, 18, a Armex... Not Armex. I can't remember what they're called now. So it's an underlever one. Um, not Armex. What's what's an air gun company? It sounds similar, like a little bit like Arm Arm Armex. <laughs> That's all the white women. Like so, don't know, mate. <laughs> not Uberx, no. There's quite an, quite a good, you know, not there's anything wrong with um, Umarex. Um, I can't think of it now. Dotoff said, you should go, man. The weapon collection is through the roof. I, I, I will. I probably will. I do like them kind of places. I can't remember anyway. You used to have this really nice underlever um, air rifle. Quite nice. Um, air... Yeah, no, it was air arms. Yeah, that's it. It's air arms. It's air arms. It's air arms. Yeah, it was air arms. That's it. Yeah, it's just I said, yeah, for some reason, armets came into my head. Air arms. That's what it was. He had an air arms um, underlever. Mount did that. He bought about bought at about the age of 18 or something. Yeah, as I said, before then, all the stuff we had was like BB guns. My mum and dad wouldn't buy us an air rifle. No way. And couldn't get the money. Uh, yeah, thank you, Tactical, and thank you, Rich. Pad said, seen the Commando video, mate. Was looking for one myself, and your video popped up. Yeah, very, very expensive. It's a shame, really. Oh, Joe said, I might ask my neighbour if he still has my old MREs. Yeah, ask him. Ask him, mate. James, you're right, Mike. Nice to see you in here. You've sobered up. <laughs> About time. I'm going to stay off the booze for a while now. Just remember, what happens on the live, the drunk live stream stays on the drunk live streams, all right? Big B said, my mum let me get a crossbow, but wouldn't let me get an air rifle. Makes zero sense, I know. <laughs> well, I drank a whole bottle of vodka, a big bottle. You're not a litre one, but I drunk a whole... Um, oh, I've emptied my bin now. I drank a whole 700 ml vodka and then started drinking wine afterwards. <coughs> so that drunk guy. Freddie said, I've got a HW57 and an Umarex brake barrel and Powerline 880. I'll tell you what, though. That sounds good. These gun boards, though, we've had this kind of stuff up from the age of about probably 14, 15. But it's just the only thing we didn't have was air rifles. On our wall, we had 
that old two to um lever action thing that the police took in the end um knives and shit like um spiked bats and all stuff like that if i could find you the picture i'd show you but because originally why my my dad put the gun boards up originally because what we used to do we used to hammer nails into the wall <laughs> and he was sick of us ruining the walls by hammering nails into them yeah so our first bedroom which wasn't this one because we've swapped like loads of times so this was in it was that one in it was this one in it was that one in it was this one um uh, yeah the very first start time we had guns and weapons on the board we just literally hammered nails into the walls and home off them so then when we came in here again he put a board up and i've got a picture of that board but yeah no not everything but air rifles and a, and decent air pistols but we had a couple of air pistols but they weren't powerful and i think malk had the old g10 thing and the um and another one that you pulled back that was like an air pistol, but um, BB gun, you know, metal BBs, but you'd pull it back. You'd fit, you'd put this, you'd open this little bit, put the BBs in, the metal BBs, shut it, pull it back, shoot, pull it back, shoot. But that actually shot, you know, copper BBs. That said, to be honest, I got to 2 a.m. and I typed time to end the stream, but thought not my place. I'll tell you what, tactical, please do next time. Please do encourage me to stop. It don't yet. It don't matter. I wouldn't ever be. Um, sometimes when I'm drunk, that's what I need. I need to be told to stop. <laughs> so, yeah. If you ever want to do that, you know, if you think I'm going too far, tell me. I'm perfectly fine with it. Because sometimes, sometimes that's what I need. I say to them to tell me if I'm saying too much. They fucking don't. They just sit there and let me do it. <laughs> Not that I'm blaming other people, but cause I am. It's my fault. But yeah. No, that's all good, Dr. You know, I understand I understand you both ways there. Get yourself says, is it legal to distill your own whiskey? It, it's not illegal to distill it, it, but you'd have to have a license to sell it. it it's quite bizarre. Oh, thank you, Flazzy. That's not popped up tonight. Did you did you buy one this evening? That's not it's not said anyone else tonight. Or was that another time? Thank you, Flazzy. Oh, thank yeah. Oh, just now. Thank you, Flazzy. Yeah, that's just popped up now. Flazzy, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Yeah, it hadn't popped up. I hadn't said yet. Thank you, mate. But yeah, feel free. I'm not going to... I'll tell you what, Tactical, that's the last one I'm ever doing, in all honesty. Um, yeah. Unless I do something where I tell people, at this time, you've got to fucking just bombard me with stop, 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 stop. You know, because you mods could do that. You could literally fill the chat up with stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Because uh, so, it goes way beyond, you know what I mean? We, we'll stop talking about that. But. So as he said, yeah, you bought you a couple of cups of coffee. Thank you, mate. Yeah, if anyone wants to do that, that all goes towards the channel, by the way. Anyone who does the donations. Um, and that coffee, coffee thing, really easy to do. You just, um, it's... You should, if well, anyone who's on now, put in the word, right, exclamation mark support. Anyone can do it. And it'll pop up with the link. And then you go to that website. And then you just click support. And then buy me however many coffees you want. And that money goes straight into PayPal. And then I'll use that towards the channel. The only time it won't work is if someone's just done it, though. <laughs> Jeremiah Shine, so here in Indiana, you they only let you know you distill a they only let you distill a certain amount. All right. Now I don't know if there's any limits over here, but yeah, you can you can do it over here, but to sell it, you have to have a license. But quite bizarre. Jumble Sal Boo said, I can't get used to the new Facebook layout. You ain't really PC friendly. I don't know if that's a joke or not. It's not PC friendly anyway, is it? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't know. I ain't been on there as they changed it. But thank you, Flazzy. That could be a joke, though, with the PC. You know, no, they'd be too, it'd be there too PC friendly, wouldn't it? T2, so I'm glad it stays on the stream. I blew 460 quid on a bet. 365 this week. Show knows nothing. <laughs> so, yes. 
What happens on the stream stays on the stream, I promise you. John, you're right, mate. I need to enter the challenge. I just don't have a stand. Um, may also be a proper cunt and introduce a side challenge. Axes and blades, honestly. You can if you want. <laughs> Go on, John. Try it if you want. Um, as long as you can get something that's eight by eight and just put it on there or something. You know, you get your table and get a, get a book. And if, if the book is around about eight by eight, that should do anything. You know, table with just an eight by eight base on it. So if it slides off of that little book or that little bit of wood. Um, yeah. I'm waiting for some people to join in. No one's done it yet. I know someone's had a go today, but I don't think they wanted to... Um, do that as their video. Because, um, you know, you can practice as much as you want. It, that don't bother me. You don't have to do it your first go. You can practice. Um, I had a little bit of practice, as in I cut two 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 pint balls. So I cut two two pint balls, but they fall over straight away. as a little warm-up. But you only get, like, two cuts out of them. Then I cut one bottle for the video I showed, and then the three were just then, and then that was no more bottles. Uh, Big Pet said, if you can't do PayPal for coffee, the shops and the hoodies and things are spot on. Now, thank you, mate. I always forget about the old merchandise now. Don't, don't forget, you can get some merchandise. Um, oh, there's the other one. I've got it in my fucking hand. That'll be one of the prizes as well. You can pick one of the merchandise items. Boxy Lady, good to see you on. How are you? Good evening, Mike. Hope you're well. And hello to all the people in chat. Steve said, my technique sucks on bottle cutting. Um, all I get is soaking wet. <laughs> it, I'll tell you what, I got bloody soaked as well. Um, yeah, it does. It, you get used to, you can easily fuck them up, though, put it that way. Steve said, I'll probably help if my sharpening skills were better too. I'll be honest with you, though, Steve, I was saying this earlier. Someone said, how sharp is that um, machete that I used? This is not even paper cutting sharp. You'd be surprised. That's why you'll see me in the videos. Give it a little test first. I'll go along, see what feels like the sharpest part of the blade. It's not paper cutting sharp. But it's sharp enough for bottles. You know what helps though, don't you? That. I'm sure that makes a difference. Big fat blade's never going to... Um... I reckon like a fatter blade that was very sharp would do but these thin blades not that sharp still perform quite well because there's not a lot of resistance foxy said uh, we're all good good to hear it my mum i don't know if you heard me say before my mum's back from hospital now and she's all right she's not fully recovered i've got to do quite a lot for her but when she first came home we didn't think she was going to even be able to walk anywhere she's, she's getting about of a zimmer frame now which is good um yeah, yeah, she's home and she's getting better. So. Uh, see your things, right, mate? What's name is Sam. I just come back from doing a random camp. Oh, nice. Oh, no. yeah. I hope he enjoyed it. Did he film? Well, he would have filmed it, wouldn't he? I hope he had a good time as well. Yeah, slicey dicey, Jeremiah. Tacticals. Yeah, my whack is actually is shaving sharp. It just knocks bottles over. That's it. It's it's a bit of how f they're thick, aren't they? The old wags. Like my fucking my katana there. That's getting on for nearly 10, 10 mil thick at the back on parts of it. Um, yeah, I may redo my. I might redo the knife version of mine and make a knife out of one of these. Uh, one thing I would say though, I suspect sometimes. Weight can make a difference. I reckon a big, heavy, thick one, but thick, heavy might still whack through. But yeah, it is easy to knock them over. Fox Lady said, um, "That's nice to hear. How are you coping? It not not bad. She's glad to be home. And we're glad to have her back. And yeah, I'm making her dinners and lunches and all that shit. And <laughs> yeah, she's getting better. It's good. It's good." Yeah, thank you for asking. Yeah, it is good. Richard said, my falchion is um, 5.5 mil thick. 
That's that's got a reasonable bit of thickness, but that's thinner than um, yeah, like some things. Um, you've got a good technique, there, Rich. I've seen your technique. You're quite good with um, bottle cutting. He's quite modest, but um, yeah, Rich can cut a bottle. I tell you. Big Pez said, right, that's good sharpening stone then. I've got two off of eBay, trying them on two of my customs. Fuck them up. Yeah, if you want to get real good sharpening um, stuff, it's worth, or if you want to get good at sharpening and not fuck things up, it is worth getting like a good system. You know, I, I'm i very basic. I, you know, I put it on that little belt sander. I put it on those diamond grit stones that go down to like 600 grit or something and then i put it on a um a fucking whetstone but I, I could probably go a lot more than that and i probably depending on how successful this competition is i may be going i may be stepping up my sharpening game to compete if i have to as you said yeah i'd like a cleaver yeah a cleaver but yeah a cleaver would you know, it all depends. You know what I mean? Boxy says, Sam is in the process of uploading this video um, from tonight's site. Uh, nice one. I know he's done a bit, put a bit of his music on, didn't he, recently? But yeah, I'm tempted. You know what? I can't even remember what I'm going to make with this now. I'm tempted to now work out where a 10 inch blade would be. So it'd be, the blade would be about that long, but with a little handle. So the handle would literally be there to there. That's it. Just a small handle. Um, a nice thin sort of um, profile to it, to it. And give that a lovely, you know, bevel on it. Maybe three quarters, because that's quite thin anyway. But most of the bevels on those things I've done are only seven, eight mil. Um, bevel because these are so thin, but I might do even a longer bevel on it. I see. Um, see how sharp that is. See what that's like cutting through a bottle. Big person, where did you get that? My eBay, I got it off eBay. Um, yeah, just search weed slasher. There's weed slasher in it. Um, yeah, weed slasher, and they're like five pound 98p. Richard said, one tactic is to wait till everyone has used their free attempts when you know what to beat. Yeah, maybe that's why no one's entered yet, Rich. I have been suspecting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting. Hopefully it should get a bit more popular then. What I'm hoping is people will join in. And obviously, people who subscribe to those people... Or see it and think, oh, you know, I could do that. Irishman, you're right, mate. Jumbo Sabu said, Will Keith is the master bottle cutter. Have you seen his video of cutting bottles with the Alaskan survival hibbon knife? So funny. How he poses once he cuts the bottle. I don't think I have seen that, no. I'll have to look that up. That's it. Do I? Hang on. Yes, that bloke. Yes, I do know who that is. I didn't know his name, Riggs. Yeah, I have seen some of his videos. Is he still doing videos now? Because I know there was another bloke like him who stopped. Just going to go on his channel quickly. Two weeks ago. He done a stream two weeks ago. Nice. <laughs> Steve said, I need to drink more milk. Yeah, that's the only other thing, is if you don't, not big drip milk drinkers. Well, that's why I put the prizes up. The thing is, if you're good enough, spend 10 quid worth, of, go and buy 10 quid worth of milk, you get your money back in the prizes. Darren offered a prize for the first three videos. Might get things moving. I would do that if I could afford it. Um, Costa. That's a good idea. I'll have a little think. Um, maybe I should have gone a bit easier on my cutting goes. <laughs> Instead of doing a level of fucking cuts each. Um, <laughs> that would get it working, though, um, Costa. <laughs> yeah, she's joking. <laughs> I 
Fox, yeah, Sam loves milk. I have to buy it every day. You know, I don't drink milk at all, in all honesty. The only reason milk gets drunk in my ass <coughs> is everyone else. I, I wouldn't have milk in anything. Um, even if I very, 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 very occasionally have cornflakes, I put a tiny bit of milk in and fill the rest of water. I only drink milk if I've got really bad acid reflux. Can't get rid of it. Dumbledore, sir, uh, Bush, I don't know, mate. The poor guy gets trolled a lot. He seems like a nice guy. I'm kind of asked for the piss taking. Yeah, some people, I think some people don't sort of care either. But yeah, he's still on there, Riggs. He uploaded um, two weeks ago, did a live stream two weeks ago. And it was called A Stream for the End of the World. And he's got a video on two months ago, how to pretend to know how to use a katana. <laughs> Might have to watch that one. <laughs> That's why you don't ever see me doing anything fancy in my videos. Because I don't fucking pretend that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm literally picking up a knife or whacking a bottle. <laughs> you won't see me doing any fancy shit doing bottle cutting. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Tactical said, is it wise for me to try and cut things at the moment? Well, yes, I don't know. You might want to leave it. You've got till the end of... You might, this might even be going till next year. Yeah, the Olaf said, stay away from the blades for a while. Richard said, Mike, maybe you should have been more aggressive in the challenge. 11 ring cuts of a sword. Let's see if anyone has the balls to try and beat me. Yes, I think maybe that's right. <laughs> sake, Something like that might light the fire under some asses. <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah, some people would write things like that. <laughs> James, it sounds like you need to go to the doctors and get some... Um, I could never say that. Um, own prezole for the acid reflux. It's not too bad at the minute, but I have had some stuff. I got some of these, but I don't think it needs them yet. I got the other sort of the equivalent things, the old Lanso prezoles. Um, yeah, I think it's the same thing, isn't it? I don't know if I've got any here. Actually, I've got a whole thing if I need them. I ought to start taking some of them. But that's all they'd that's all they'd prescribe me anyway. Um, yeah, all the ones you said. Yeah. That's what happened last time when I went last time. I'm going to give it a couple of days, see if it goes. Oh, by the way, not going in the shed for for a week has not made my phlegm any better. So it's not the shed doing it. It was just as bad today as it ever is. So it ain't the shed doing it. So I can go straight back in the shed Monday or Tuesday. Or whenever, Wednesday. I think Wednesday's the, the day. I, the thing is, Tuesday is my brother's day off work, so he has to fix the van. They're constantly fix, fixing the van. Mondays, I can't really, unless I get up really early, can't go in the shed. It's a Wednesday. Don't say, but that reminds me, I've still got to do that 10 pound weapon build challenge, mate. Am I throwing cow to oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah. Similar thing, James. Yeah, Lansoprazoles and Oma, Omaprazoles are pretty sure they're the same thing, essentially. Johnson, have you been tested for <laughs> Civic? Do you mean COVID? Yeah. I ain't got COVID. I've had this shit for about six months. So if it is, I'm one of those super spreaders. <laughs> No, no, no COVID in my house. My mum, even when she was ill, it was pneumonia in the end, if I never told anyone. Um, yeah, it was pneumonia in the end. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, fuck me, I don't know what I was going to say. Now. Oh, she had two COVID tests. It was like they was trying to keep, just keep testing her until we could say it's it. <laughs> but it fucking wasn't. James said, no sales on the broadhead yet, then. Next week. It'll be next week now. Bayonets, broadheads. I'll finish them all next week. Um, get the video up. And then you can all bombard me with emails. As you're saying that, I better buy some more fucking stamps if I'm going to have to send shit loads of them out. Let me check. I'll have a look later. I need to check how many stamps I've got. Because I stopped. I got sick of going to the post office. So I've started doing it just putting the fucking stamps on, putting them in the fucking letterbox, you know, in the post box. Rig said, Mike, are you getting on with your dad's display? I've got it all set up 
ready to finish, if that makes sense. I've got all the bits in place. I just need to do a couple of brackets to hold certain bits, like the big jag um, hood ornament. And then and then the main thing really is really printing out the pictures. I need to get hold of some pictures, the pictures I want. What I might do, Joe, is just get what I can get. So there's some of him as a kid, teenager, man, you know, an older up to granddad sort of age. Um, and then if I get the actual ones I wanted, replace them. Maybe I might even do a little pocket on the back of it with a load of pictures in. So if anyone ever takes you off the wall, they'll find these pictures on the back. Like, oh, look. I may even print out a thing on the back of it with a lot of you know a lot of information. It's, I'm, I'm, that's how I am. I think people should be remembered, and the issue is you're only ever remembered by other people. You know what I mean? That's how you're remembered. You have to other people are the people who remember you. So you have to have something to be remembered by. I suppose it's a lot easier nowadays, at least. Because in the old days, you know, there was no pictures, no nothing, you know, and there wouldn't have even been any records of you. So we're quite lucky, really, now that you can actually memorialise someone quite easily nowadays. But yeah. Uh, Foxy said there is no COVID, only flu virus. There you go. That's why she didn't have it. <laughs> James said, next week, good stuff, mate. Uh, Double Salvos are going to be a great tribute. Yeah, thank you, mate. Yeah, it, it should be good. Um, yeah, thank you. Foxy said, why is there a red line next to my picture? I do not know. Is there? I can't see it on mine. Let me just I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go onto my channel, look at the live stream, how you lot would see it. Don't know. There's not on here. Don't know. There's not on, on the bit I'm looking at. There isn't. Um, Foxy ladies. That's strange. I don't know what that is. Axe. You right, mate? He said, well, bugger this week has sucked. <laughs> Jamie said, how do chickens shop online? Cluck and collect. <laughs> right, say. Oh, hang on. I must use this. You don't deserve it, but yeah. What you should have had was this one. I bought that for the streams. Now I can't be. I can't bear to use it because no one wants to listen to me pressing that shit all night long. Fraser said, but that's weird watching a self stream. When you get, it would be when you're not used to videos. All of the video. Doing shit's weird. You don't like the sound of your voice, all that kind of crap. But yeah, it is odd seeing like a delay. But then at one point, that was only where you could do a live stream, watching yourself in delay. It was a fucking nightmare trying to like show people things because you'd hold it up and then two, you know, ten seconds later, they'd it would hold it up. James said, what's in Asda's today? Bought the help for Heroes 2021 calendar. Money goes to check. Oh, oh, good on you, James. That's good. That's good. Big Pet said, Mike, have you ever tried a knife throwing? I have. Yes, I have. I've got some throwing knives. I quite enjoy throwing knives, actually. Yeah, because I play darts as well. So that does make me... Try Bert, then. That does make me throw knives slightly weird, though. Because I'm a darts player... When I throw knives, I tend not to throw them really hard. I tend to throw them more like you would a dart. You don't sling them as hard as you can. Um, but yeah, I've got multiple sets of throwing. Yeah, have a look. I've got, have a look at my videos. I've got multiple throwing knife sets and made throwing boards. Yeah, I quite like knife throwing, but I ain't done it for a while. I was when I Zed said to me about doing the the review and demo of of the, of the GI Tanta. I know these are. These are well shown online, but down there, I still do a video on it. Um, I'm tempted to throw it because these are essentially throwers, but I don't know. It's too nice. I don't want to fuck it up. They ain't going to fuck up, but, you know, it does look nice new. You know what I mean? That's the only thing with sort of black coloured things. You, um, you can scratch them easy. I suppose I could put something down. But yeah, I may be throwing this soon.
Basically, I don't like the sound of my voice. Yeah, it's it's a weird one if you're not used to it. Very odd when you're not used to hearing your voice. But you get used to it. Tim said, sorry, Bobby, you can put me through the table for that one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, Foxy, oh, it's just disappeared. <laughs> I was just about to read your message then, disappeared. Big Fred said, you have, um, you need to have a look at the lad. Um, Meta, Meta Tenby. I think that guy's doing, is that the world? Not, I, I do follow our Adam Chelladin. and I like him. He's a good bloke. He subs me as well, actually. He pops on here every now and then. What's happening, Fox Lady? That's another one's disappeared. Yeah, that's the old cold steel GI Tanto. I'll show you it properly. Lovely um, Tanto knife, if you like the old Tantos. People do quite a lot of mods on here. On these, sorry, not on here. On these. Oh, that's one of his mates, is it, Big Bread? Oh, nice one. Yeah, I'll look into that. Then, yeah, I like how Adam Chalian. When he was over here last time, I was going to kind of go and meet him, but it was the wrong sort of time for me. <coughs> Fox is a Sam also donates money throughout the year, actually. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? That's worth doing that. I won't keep doing that. I'll keep doing the fucking Velcro otherwise. <coughs> James said, no way, that tanto blade's too nice to throw. I'll be honest, if I did throw it, I'd have to put like something soft on the floor. Because, yeah, I wouldn't want to fuck that up in all honesty, James. I don't think I will. Yeah, they're nice knives there, and they're reasonably priced as well. I don't think they're more than 40 quid. Solid fucking knife as well. Jamie, uh, no, Freddie said, I made a throwing knife out of metal bars with screw holes. And I think it's from frames holding up walls. You should make one out of it. The other time, you can make five or six from a whole bar. Good idea, um, Freddie. I have actually made quite a few. I've got a great big one just there. That's about that long. And I've, I've got a load of um, mild steel. Bought a load of mild steel and made a load of um, throwing knives. <coughs> so I have done a similar thing. <coughs> Fuck's sake. Said, have you noticed difference with your cough being answered? Not really. Now, I'll tell you why. It's worse at the minute because I've just, just before the stream, I've eaten. And I, right now, this cough right now is a bit of acid reflux, of course. And I can tell. I can actually sort of feel it. <coughs> um, but no, I've noticed since not being in the shed, it's exactly the same. It's not, I don't think, it, in all honesty, I don't think it's nothing to do with the shed. I just wanted to check if it was. Um, or had you not heard earlier? So, yeah, no, I've I've had a week off the shed, not been in there once, and it's it's exactly the same, no better. So I did notice there was a bit of mould on that windowsill. Maybe it could be. I've I've got a feeling it's a couple of things. It could have been that mould, dust in this room. It's a very dusty room. The fact that I've got ever so slight sleep apnea again, which means I sleep all night with my mouth open. I can barely breathe through my nose anyway half the time. I don't know if you can hear that, but one of my nostrils is nearly always blocked. Um, yeah, so I suspect it's just a combination of all that shit. Now. <laughs> I don't think it's the shed, though, definitely. <laughs> that said, they're yeah, coofing git, burning, burning. <clears throat> No, no, cheers, Russell. Alpha Hale, right, mate? He said, love your crossbow making. Um, even gave it a go myself. You should do any more. You got to do any more anytime soon. Nice one. I'm glad you... Yeah, you know what, Alpha? Those are my most popular videos, and I've not made a crossbow for years. I may make another one. The only thing with a crossbow is they're very involved. They're very involved. But that's nice to know you came from the, the crossbow videos, Alpha. Big Pat said, looking to get a throwing knife, mate. What would you say to get? I would just get some cheap ones first and see how much you enjoy doing it. Get some cheap, pretty, get some big ones, though. Big, cheap ones. That's all I'd say. Uh, Zed said, you still EDC in the other car still? I don't know if you saw that. I just added it in my hand then. <laughs> Literally added it in my hand then. 
Could be bad sinuses, James. I've never known what it was, no one It don't bother me that much, but yeah. Yeah, Michael Mild breathing is sadly rich. Could be bad sinuses. It changes as well. But one of my nostrils, say that's your nostril holes. Like that's that one, that's that one. And this this changes as well. So one will be like that, and the other one will be like that. Virtually closed. But on different days it will change. But one of them is always swollen. Or shut anyway, I don't know. Dumble sad boost. Don't go ringing anyone, mate. <laughs> Get nicked for the heavy breathing. <laughs> Harry said, my nose is the same. Could barely breathe through it 90% of the time. My right, my right side feels 99% blocked. Strange, isn't it? I don't know what it is. But it could be sinuses, could be... Yeah. Dumble sad boost. I know ear, nose and throat issues are linked. Well, there you go. Yeah. Exactly. But I don't know. But the cough, the cough, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think the cough is anything serious, put it that way. It was just, you know, you ain't got a lot to do and you're trying to work out what is causing something. So I wanted to try and see if I could work out what was causing it and then stop, you know, stop it. Because it's, it's only a little bit of phlegm in the morning. The problem is, though, well, and then, like the coffee now, but this is acid reflux and I've just eaten and I'm drinking and I'm drinking a black coffee. Um, the, the cough and that phlegm was the issue because I've not coughed that phlegm since I smoked. I haven't smoked since 2006. So it's unusual for me to suddenly be coughing up um, bits of phlegm. But it, it could be just Qatar. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just it's just something I wondered about. You know what I mean? And I thought, I'll try and work out what this is, what's causing it. But it wasn't a concern or anything, put it that way. Lone Wolf, good to see you on. He was having a chat about you a minute ago. Did you have a good time out recently? Hike or whatever? You see, I have a nose, nasal passage, passage problems too. I had it for years. That's it. Probably some girl's pube that got stuck down there just making you cough. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I had to check because I see what everyone's fucking going on about. Like laughing at you. Number two, Boo said, could be having the heating on. Causing the coughing. Uh, tell you what, Reed, I did suspect that this morning, actually. It might be something to do with that. Yes. Dust and the radio, because, yeah. Cause, yeah. <clears throat> Lone Wolf said, in 2012, I had a random nosebleed that lasted 18 hours. Yeah, that, I bet that ain't pleasant. I sometimes get random nosebleeds. Not so much nowadays, but I wouldn't want an 18-hour one. Fuck that. <clears throat> Big Pet said, P.S., have you seen the have you seen the kissing crane, mate? Uh, yeah, yes. Oh, seen you have the kissing crane stiletto, mate. Um, had one a good few years ago now. Someone stole it when I was younger. Do they still do them? I'll tell you what, <laughs> I don't think they do because Peach and I wanted one, I think. We looked for one for him and um, couldn't find one anywhere. <coughs> so, yeah, I think in the UK they're quite hard to find. Lord Flash, you're right, mate. Nearly missed you there. It's an evening, Mike. Sounds like broken cartilage. I had the same. It slowly floats between both nostrils, blocking one at a time. Just by the bridge of the nose. Ah, it could be that then. Yeah, because it changes. It, it does. It, it does change. Yeah. Could be that. Yeah, that. I think that got mentioned before on another stream. Um, yeah, that could be that. Could be. Freddie said, good year, 06. I was born and you stopped smoking. So did my dad. Nice. Yeah, nice one, Freddie. Alf said, yeah, thanks for the crossbow making videos. Made me get into engineering. Ah, well, well, thank you for the for the support, then, Alpha. Yeah, that's nice. I'm glad I'm glad it, you know, I'm glad it inspired you to do stuff yourself. Yeah, that's good that. Jamie said, maybe you're getting allergic to all your weapons. Right, I've got to give them away to you. <laughs> Dumbo Sabu, shall I get some random nose, please? Normally, when I tell the missus, she's got a fat ass. There's circular saw blades are good for Fran. That I've never tried, but yes, I imagine they would be. <laughs> yeah, I bet they would. Um, yeah, because less. But the only thing with not throwing knives, you do have to, unless you do the no spin. You have to be in exactly the right distance, don't you? And I've noticed for every knife, it's different. Because if a knife's heavier, you can still do the half spin or full spin, whatever. 
But sometimes it's, you know, a little bit further back if it's a heavier knife because you have to throw it harder. That's weird. That, that Kofi coffee thing, that's not given... I've had a donation tonight, and that's not actually popped up as a... Not popped up on anything, notifications. Normally it pops up saying that they're... That's weird. North Flash, I broke the cartridge in mine with a foot-long chisel holding a torsion bar, spring hinge released, and catapulted and bullseyed my nose. Well, actually, I don't sound pleasant. Yeah, you know, I've never knowingly broke my nose, but I've definitely been, you know, punched square on the nose quite a few times in my life. So, yeah. James said, that kid in Mad Max movie, throwing the sharp boomerang. Yeah, it cuts on his fingers off, doesn't it? <clears throat> I would not want to fuck about with a fucking sharp boomerang, would you? That's the kind of weapon I'd sling it once and be glad to see the fucking back of it. <laughs> Biscuit strike, mate. He said, it's going, pal. Is that cold steel pro light in your thumbnail? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. There it is. He said, I love my blue one. Um, just got first Spyderco Power 3 lightweight in today. Love it. And the old Spyderco is quite nice, isn't it? Stug said, have you played Witcher 3? Yes, I have. I'm up to about level 8 now, Stug. Done a good probably 10 hours worth. So next week, I'll probably start streaming it on Twitch. Because I'm back to that now. I'll, I'll start actually doing Twitch streams now. I was worried I was going to have to constantly keep doing, you know, like I'd have to be able to hear my mum. But although I have to do a little bit for her, it's nowhere near the degree that um, I'd have to hear everything she says, put it that way. So, yeah, I should be back on Twitch next Monday, hopefully. Paul Quinn, you're right, mate. He said, in your video of your Chinese ballpark still available. It's up there now. Yeah, that, does that still say that's for sale? Sadly not, Paul. Yeah. Unless you want to make me an offer. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, Paul, I couldn't legally sell it anyway. I would have to get it re-deactivated re to the current spec, and then I could sell it. Daryl, I said, Mike, have you got any nonsense? I have. I've got some made and the homemade ones. I bought ones. But I don't actually know where they are. I think they're in my loft. Well, Flash Art said, honestly, mate, working on the trucks ended up with a fair few dull ones, 32 Millimeter spanner straight enough. Now, I can imagine that you know, pulling things with a lot of strength at you, you know, slipping off and whacking you in the I can see it. Um, I can see it, Lord Flash. I can see that happening. Big Pad said, Um, Cold Steel, this is a new one on me. We'll need a look. Go and subscribe to Cold Steel's website as well. Uh, Cold Steel's YouTube channel. Um, Cold Steel stuff's pretty good, actually. Yeah, and their stuff comes lovely and sharp as well. Uh, basically, said, I loved Witcher 3. Spent a lot of time on Kingdom Come Deliverance since. It's by far the most immersive game I've ever played. Nice one. I've never played that, but yeah, The Witcher, I'm loving it. Yeah. There it is. Um, yeah, I've done a good. I must have done a good. Actually, I've probably done 20 hours on it, in all honesty. Yeah, I'll probably actually saying that. I've probably done 30 hours. Because there's been days where I've done that at least five hours a day or more. James said, Mike, did you receive the pictures I sent through Facebook? If you can do something with them, you can have them if you want. I'll have to get back to you there, Jamie. I've, I think when you sent me that, I may have been hungover still. I don't know. Or maybe I was still feeling a bit weird. But I don't know. I'll check that out. Harry said, did you grind down the blade on that knife? Um, looks pretty big. Which one? Or oh, on this? On this? No, no, that's just that comes. Yeah, no, that's um, no, that's the standard blade for that. Yeah. Burn Burhan, he said, machetes or swords? I don't know both. I've got both. I'll say machete. I've got one just there. 
<clears throat> oh, tactical said, get a couple of ten pound walkie talkies. Your mum can just give you a shout then. Yes. Well, we've got a fucking doorbell, so you can ring the doorbell and it'll ring up here. It's not that bad, in all honesty. If, if, yeah. Luckily, it ain't that bad. <laughs> and then next week, I've got Friday and following Monday off. But yeah, sadly, I can't go on the Twitches because I'm up early for school. Daryl, I've said, I've had my nunchucks over 20 years now. I can't use nunchucks, in all honesty, Daryl. Are we getting like a troll thing going on? <laughs> Fuck's sake. So, sorry for the trolls. That the, uh, the mods are so good here. They get rid of you fuckers before I even see them. <laughs> so don't bother me in the slightest. Because you're gone before I've even read them. <clears throat> James said, EK Archery Hex 400 Crossbow looks fancy. Uh, it looks good. Fancy one of those. I'll have to... I ain't seen that. Have I ever seen the movie Cuties? Never even heard of it. Irishman said, a mate of mine gave me a gift of coin sap yesterday. Just a cheap one, but nice all the same. I bet that's... You know, I'd like one of them, Irishman. I bet that's good. Yeah, I've always wanted to either make one or get one. Um... Yeah, that's a good gift, that. James, are you planning on doing any special videos for Christmas? Yeah, I don't know what, though, Jamie. I might, I'll definitely do, like, a Christmas Day live stream with Matt and maybe some, I don't know. Is that what that is, dear love? Right, that bloke can go as well, then. Where was that one? Um... I can't even remember how to do it now. Zed said, I've changed my hairstyle after seeing the bloody Witcher thing. <laughs> my ponytail is lower now. Ah, fuck's sake. Now that's good. The witch is good. I'll tell you what. If you look like the bloke in the Witcher, Zed, most people would pass that as a compliment. Alpha said, I always thought you there were rules about lock knives in the UK. Only carrying them. And when people say EDC, I mean in my house and in my shed or garden. But that's the original blade on this. But they do um, they do do different versions. If you look, that does come to the end of the handle. Look. It just looks... I don't know why. There's not some kind of illusion that makes it look small. It actually isn't. That blade comes right to the end of the handle. Look. And that is the standard um, blade. Um, what was I saying? Lock knives. You can own them, use them in your house, use them at work. You just can't carry them in the street, basically. Lord Flashheart said, are you any further with the slingshot deployed quiver that hard fires pistol crossbows and gladius banners? I'm working on it next week, mate. <laughs> James said, maybe 12 days of Christmas. Weapon like the gave, gave to me. Maybe, maybe. I, I have found... I do like them kind of ideas, Jamie. The problem is, though... When I start having to do daily videos, I find it a real fucking chore, and I don't enjoy it. Um, where am I? Sorry, I got started there. James said, don't think concepts are EDC. No, I don't think that. Well, I don't know. It all depends. If you call it a concept, no. If it's just a coin, if, if it's just a coin holder, then yes. Don't ever call it coin sap. Predator <laughs> flick blades always look small because the handle's so bulky. Exactly, yeah, especially OTFs. Ninja said, if you're in lockdown, that means lock knives are legal for EDC. There you go, yes. Lock lockdown with your lock knives. <laughs> Don't say my hair isn't quite white yet. But yeah, no, there'd be nothing wrong with looking up, looking like old fucking Geralt, whatever his name is. A good character, actually. I quite like him. And um, and the, the women, because that's actually got proper nudity in that. One of the rare games you see proper, proper nudity. Nah, tits, anyway. I've seen, I've seen some, I've seen some breasts in it so far. Tactical said, shows Zed a photo of my ex. It is now. <laughs> Irishman said, speaking of EDC, my mate started carrying a um, 10 inch length of brush handle. 
tapered towards both ends. He says it's for pressing the button at the lights for crossroads. That's very good. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Freddie said Mike's all for the tits. No, good idea. Yeah, this, yeah. Thing is, in this day and age, and depending on your age and all that, you know, certain people wouldn't get away with it just because of their age and how they dress and how they look, per se. But certain ages or whatever could get away with that, I reckon. Um, yeah. Because, it, it, you know, there's a lot of tools that you might want to carry now so you don't have to press buttons and shit. And... Damien said, did you know that Tampax are replacing the strings on their sanitary towels with tinsel? But only for the Christmas period, I'd say. Well, at least that was slightly, uh, slightly related. <laughs> you're getting better, Jamie. You know, your your the your rival or your um, I don't know what you call it. Your um, your peer, Z. Um, you'll notice that his are always relevant. Now, Z said, Jamie, that's your best one yet. <laughs> You'll find I'll appreciate the jokes much more if they're relevant to what we're talking about. Now I like the jokes. If you I'll tell you how you'll know if I if I'm getting bored of the jokes, I'll just stop reading them out. So they don't ever bother me. But yeah, if, and sometimes if like there's a lot going on, but now I like the jokes. Um, Dad said, "Remember that bit in Death Wish where he hit a table with his coin-filled socks and it broke and all the coins went everywhere." I still laugh at that. But I often think to myself, Zed, if I had a little pouch with coins, is that going to happen? <laughs> uh, James said, you're not even allowed weighted gloves. Those metal devices made to enable opening doors to avoid contact. That's it. I've seen them with like a ring and then a bit like that and a bit that sticks up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, no, man. Iron Man's got Iron Man likes to get in with the jokes as well. We'll have to do a joke stream one night and just make me um, want to die for the whole stream. Alpha said, Have you ever had any issues with the police due to your collection? No, not really. I have had the police come around here about six times doing raids, um, but never ever for weapons. And I've never had any illegal weapons here, so they can't say anything anyway. Um, so no, I've never actually had an issue with weaponism, uh, wep in right feminism, maybe right weaponisms then, <laughs> say weaponism, now, now I'm fucking pressing that, that was unintentional by the way, I just start filling the things, um, where am I, put myself off there, but no, I've never had any issues with weapons, really, they've seen the weapon, every time they see the weapons, they sort of shit themselves and you know, have to spend hours with them going for them all. Irishman said, did you know that the Viking shield maidens were the first to use sentry towers? They were originally called uh, panty shield maidens. I did not know that. And if that was a joke, that went straight over my head. <laughs> James said, exactly, mate. They would make a good EDC tool. Daryl said, have you ever seen the buck knife pack like Skinner's? I have... The 140 and the 141. I don't think I have seen them, dear love. Let me have a quick look. No, I haven't seen them, actually, no. Like a skeletonized neck knife type thing. Yeah, it looks quite nice. No, I've never seen them. Dad said, tactical, my hair is now hiding behind the sofa, shaking with fear. To see if I've missed any comments. <laughs> Day is it tomorrow? Saturday. Tempted to go in the shed tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No one's about. Don't to think about it. Anyone seen any good films lately? Um, I don't think I've watched any like good ones. But the last. I watched a film called The Deep Ones last night, which was a um, H.P. Lovecraft-inspired film, but it was low-budget and was just okay, really. I wouldn't say it was better than okay. Um, 
Well, that's what I've seen recently. Um, oh, fuck, I can't remember. I don't know if I've seen anything good, really. Jared, obviously, yeah, buck knives are awesome. Not sure if we can get them now from the US. But I have a friend. I'll tell you what you want to do. Due to this customs bollocks, I wouldn't buy any knives from abroad nowadays if I could. But if you go to companies like Henny Haynes, they'll they'll get you um you know, they'll get you knives from all around the all around the fucking the world. Charlie, you right, mate? Steve said, I've been watching The Mandalorian. No, so I want to watch that. I'll get right to that eventually. That looks excellent. I like all the Star Wars stuff that I've seen anyway. I haven't seen the new, the new trilogy. Um, but I want to, so no spoilers. Yeah, The Mandalorian, that's on Series 2 now. And I wouldn't mind watching that. How many episodes per series? It's not one of those with 24 episodes, is it? <coughs> uh, the fucking Fifth Element, Zed. I couldn't fucking get it. Everywhere I looked, I couldn't find a copy of it. I might just buy it on DVD. In fact, I'm going to buy it on DVD tonight. And I bet I could probably get it cheap. So, yeah, I'll buy it on DVD. Fuck it. Yeah, the problem was I've only got a couple of places I can watch things. Um, one on Netflix, one on anywhere else I could find it. Yeah, so I never got to bloody watch it in the end. I was looking forward to that. Tactical Pirates have been been binge watching Still Game from the start. Last episode was the Pizza Delivery. On. I do love a bit of Still Game. I'm getting tempted to watch them again. Charlie said, "Can we have a Christmas interactive video? If I can think of something to do, I will." You're off, Rich. Good night, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I'll buy it. To be honest, Zed, second-hand used DVDs, you can get them like three quid anyway, so. I was going to say, I watched The Outpost the other night. First half hour is poor, but the battle scene is not bad, if you like US soldiers in Afghanistan. <laughs> um, I'll have a look into that. Well, I've never seen that either. Steve said, I think there were nine in the first. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, what, half an hour episodes? An hour, even even nine one hour episodes, not a lot. Yeah, I'll buy it. I reckon, Dad. Yeah, I could not find it anywhere. I was quite disappointed. I was going to did anyone watch the phenom the phenomenon yet? No, I'll write that down. Um, I can... Where is it on? Is it on YouTube? Big Brad said, did you ever take out the Devil's Rejects, mate? Um, it's a must. Sent you on Instagram. When oh, I must have read that and not seen it again then. Yes, but I was unaware that you sent that. I must have read that, either hungover or drunk. Um, one of them I've seen, I may have seen the Devil's Rejects, actually. I can't remember which one I've seen, but you know there's like three of them, aren't there? One of them I've seen. Yeah, good night, Rich. <clears throat> Alpha said, do your neighbours ever get pissed off when you're shooting in the garden? No, my, my neighbours next door actually live in the house that I grew up in that used to be my nan's house, and I've known them the whole entire time they've lived there. The one this side is perfectly fine, nice woman. The one behind me I don't know, but I deliberately... Like, I can be in a position where they don't see me anyway. I can position myself in my garden where no one can see me. And I, if, if I know someone's in their garden, I wouldn't shoot anyway, because I don't want, you know, if my neighbour's getting a washing in, I don't shoot or I don't do any bottle cutting because, you know, they don't want to see that. Well, maybe she does, I don't know. Um, Steve said, maybe 45 minutes, but didn't seem like it. All right, nice one. Yeah, that sounds good though, Steve. Nine, nine one-hour episodes is still good. It's I, I don't. It's hard to watch things. It's like twenty-four one-hour episodes, seven series, which I will do. Can I be doing that again, friends? Eventually. Irishman said you can stream it on Streamo and many different times. All right, I'll look it up, Irishman. I have had. A, I've written that down there very badly. Um, 
I'll just write what that is actually for sometimes I forget. <coughs> I'll have a look, see what I might be able to find it. Maybe on this website where I can watch things. <laughs> that said, give her a free frill to a 12th cutter. She'll be around for a cup of sugar. <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should. Oh, nice one, Dad. I'll bookmark that. I'll probably just buy it anyway, Dad, because the only the only thing I do have an issue with, I hate I hate um oh, fucking hell, I thought I shut the stream down then. I hate um I hate streaming things because I always have this paranoia that they're going to start buffering halfway through. Drives me around a fucking bend. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just buy it, I reckon. But cheers for that, Jed. So if, if I can't get it, I will be able to get it on DVD, though. And do you know what, Alpha? I've seen The Greasy Strangler. That's quite good, isn't it? What's that bloke's name who made that gym something, isn't it? And he's done a couple of weird... Um... Yeah, who's seen The Greasy Strangler? Now, that is a strange film. Yeah. What's his name? Jim. Jim Hoskin. That's it. Jim Hoskin. And what was the other film? He's done another weird film. What's the Jim Hoskin films? Um, I thought he did something else. He'd done a bit for ABCs of Death. No, he hasn't. I thought he'd done another really weird film. He had The Greasy Strangler. That's sake. Now that's a fucking film. Uh, right, just going to do something quickly. I'll be back in a second, just trying to find something. There's a link for you, James. <coughs> Garrett, too, if you're right, mate. How are you? Sorry, I was just, uh, you just came on and I was trying to find a link for someone. Yeah, I like the Greasy Strangler, though, Alpha. That's good, that is. Um, the Aussie said, uh, what would happen if I was hypothetically caught by the law of the locking knife? <sighs> Don't know. You put, it might just get took off you. You might have to go to court and get a fine and, you know, maybe even really... It all depends what they want to do, do you know what I mean? It all depends what your sort of um, criminal history is. I just want Garrett. Yeah, how are you, mate? You all right? <clears throat> yeah, I was, just, I was just getting a link for someone. James, he wanted a link for... Um, I mean, there you go, James. There's a link to the weed slasher. They've upped the price slightly now. But still, seven seven pounds seventy for that, and you could make a good few knives out of that, or you know, as the sword. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not from Australia. I just thought I would pretend, but I'm always. I say mate so much that people ask if I'm from Australia. So I said the other one you were asking about is Valerian and the City of a Found Plant. Do you know what? I watched a bit of that. I have seen a bit of that. Yeah, I might get. That I could probably get. I'll have a look. I do like that. I watched a bit of that. That was um, Luke Besson, wasn't it? That got panned a bit, didn't it? I I got the other day one of my favourite comedies, Crime Wave, which absolutely panned. You know, I reckon that was enough to nearly ruin Sam Raimi's whole career. I love Crime Wave. I think it's an excellent comedy. 
They've upped the, maybe they've seen my video tactical. Yeah, they've upped them. Yeah, seven pounds seventy seven now instead of five pound ninety eight. Yeah, I've driven the price up, haven't I? Puddle of Matt, you're right, mate. Vodi said I've got perfectly clean record, and I only just have one at home. Got one. At, that's fine. It's, if you're, if you, yeah. Do you mean like you can have lock knives indoors, fine, and in your garden? Um, I just I would not walk down the street with it. Now, if you was, if you was in some clothes that looked like you was going down the woods, and you had a bag with you that had stuff that would involve you doing stuff down the woods, and they found a lock knife, potentially you could be okay, depending on the police and what part of the country you're in as well. That that makes and there's a lot of little things that make a difference, but they can't stop you on the lock knife in your own home or in your garden. Garrett said, so Australians can't possess guns? I don't know, mate. I, I know they've got some gun laws. A bit harsher than us. <laughs> don't know, mate, in all honesty. Dad said, yeah, it did, but don't know why. Oh, I'll tell you what, I, I hate critics sometimes. You know, they've done that to him. They, they've said that was terrible film. I've watched a bit of that, and it looked fucking brilliant. I saw it a bit when he was he was going after he was chasing after something and he was going through all of the you know he was going through fucking sides of mountains in the fucking he was being chased by something the bloke in this is Valerian and the city of a thousand planets whatever. <laughs> Steve said supply and demand you're you're buying up the inventory, yeah that's still all right though that's still you know. James had just bought it, won't arrive till the first of December. Oh well, no rush. Yeah, it ain't too bad, is it? So said, Do you reckon it would be safe to buy a real AK magazine? Plan on converting one into an airsoft mag. Um I don't know, Stug. If you if you had a look on places like DMB Military or Worldwide Arms Limited, is that they should have them? Yeah, sorry, I was thinking because I may have a spare one for this, but I'm, I may keep it because it goes with the with the um, it goes with the, the I've got like the whole the whole set for that, and then it'd be missing a bit. There's a fifth element is better though, to be honest, but they're both good. Garrett said I've got a shotgun, foam defense, nice one. What country are you in, Garrett? Daryl, I said Mike, check this blade, Buck model one two four vintage. All right. Oh, that I have seen, yes. I do know them ones. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, they're nice there. Nice classic um, buck, yeah. Yeah, I do know that one. I might do a copy of that, actually, saying that. Now you've shown me that. I could do, with that blank, with those blanks, I bet I could do a copy of that. It'd have to have a aluminium bolster on it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to make a copy of that, potentially. I'll give it a go anyway. All right, I'm going to save a picture of that. All right, I'm going to have a go potentially of making a copy of that. Um, Stug said, oh, but I'm afraid of custom thinking. Well, uh, what, where are you from, though, Stug? Surely Worldwide Arms and that, that they, would, they would just be sending it from the UK to here. I mean, or are you not over here? Is that what you meant? I always forget where you're from, Stug. I always thought you was here. Vyozzi said, I know this is a bit of a weird question, but do you smoke? And have you smoked anything to back? Oh, you are out your island. I, I forgot about that. So I reckon from there, I reckon from here to there would be fine. Yeah, I reckon that would be. I don't know, though. What do you not reckon? It's different, isn't it? I reckon it'd be all right. You know, I know it's a bit of a weird question. Oh, yeah, I used to smoke. Yeah, I used to smoke from the age of, I'll put it this way, by the time I was 12 years old, I was smoking every day. Not a lot. It'd only be like, you know, three or four cigarettes a day at the age of 12. But I don't, I'll tell you what, Stug, I don't reckon you'd get in trouble anyway. You don't, you know, I don't reckon you'd get in trouble. So by the time I was 12, I was smoking a couple of cigarettes a day. Um, By 16, you know, maybe 15 a day by the age of 20, maybe 20 a day at the most. 
roll-ups. Um, and I gave up at the age of 26, I think. I say 26, I don't actually know. And I used to smoke weed years ago quite often, but then it started making me um, paranoid. In New York, I got James said The Revenant. That was on tonight, I think. Um, that is a film I'll definitely watch one day. Yeah, I do. I've not seen The Revenant, but I want to. Dad said, James, that's based loosely on a real story. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, Stug, I'd probably, I'd probably chart it. Um, it's, I don't think you'd get in shit over it anyway, put it that way. Yeah, loves, I don't know, though. I can't help you, really. I don't want to say definitely. <laughs> he said, well, if I get a knock at the door, I know I'm in trouble. Exactly. Ask them, ask them maybe. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. These companies shouldn't sell you these things if, if you could get in trouble for it, but they don't give a shit. Daryl Love said, you will love this one too. 20-inch, massive, big, smart, custom old Western Bowie knife. All right. Now, that's a name. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, that's the traditional. Yes, yes, very nice. It's got the upswept and like the S-shaped guard. <coughs> Single piece wooden handle, very nice. Thank you, Garrett. Yeah, these, these, there's a, this is a banner, but the stuff is actually really behind it. I have to cover it up for live streams. Exactly. Was if Northern Ireland, I would say that. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, Northern Ireland and AK magazines. James said, "Yeah, it's yeah, the movie." And I thought based on reality. Stark said, "I read that, didn't I?" Alpha said, "Thanks for the good stream, but I'm off till next time." All the best. Yeah, thank you, Alpha. Good, good to have you on, mate. And I'm, I may make another crossbow soon. I've definitely not totally stop making them it's just there are a lot of hard work there and i'd prefer making things one day nowadays maybe i'll see if i can make a crossbow one day <coughs> or did you mean here um garrett yeah these are my crossbows Right, I better go off at half past. I've been quite a good stream, actually. I've only looked at the um, clock about twice all night. <clears throat> I'll be on tomorrow, though. <clears throat> might watch a film now, but I don't think it'll be the ones we've mentioned. Or maybe the phenomenon. I might look into that tonight. Just to, um, yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, before we go off, any good UFO films? I'm tempted to actually watch um, the fourth kind, is it? Again. Uh, I can get it. I'll save Valerian and the fifth element for like a week. You know, it's maybe Sunday or something. You know, I can properly... I don't like watching... It's too late to watch a good film, if you know what I mean, because you don't want to start watching a good film half 11 at night that finishes at one because you start falling asleep or you'll be tired. I, I may have seen that one, Stug. I can't remember. There's one of them I've seen, but I've written that down. Andrew, right, mate? He said, um, I have a couple of questions for you, actually, since I made it in time for the stream. What do you think of the zombie knife laws? I think they're utterly pathetic and ridiculous. Um, do you think they are due to the manufactured moral panic? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's sort of, yeah. <clears throat> I think it's the government just doing pathetic um, knee-jerk reactions to try and show that they're doing something. You know, oh, look, we're stopping zombie knives when, you know, banning zombie knives isn't going to stop any knife crime at all, is it? Um, half the shit that they even claim are um, zombie knives, they're not zombie knives by the definition of a zombie knife yeah most of us think they're total bollocks Dark Skies which one's Dark Skies, is that that one with the the four blokes and no one believes them the one who disappears for ages, is it that one 
Right, Falling Skies, I might have to save that one for another time, Tactical. If it's a series, but cheers. Jam said, you're only allowed armor lights, grenades, ski masks, Molotov cocktails, and IEDs as EDC. Oh, well, I'd say. Will said, have you listened to Joe Rogan's podcast on Bob Lazar? Um, would be interesting to know what you think. But UFO Zero Fifty One. All right, Will, by the way. Um, I'll look into that. <coughs> that's it, Travis Walton Garrett. <coughs> yes, that's the ones. Is that Dark Sky? District Nine I've seen and liked. Um Will, I'll look out for that. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll have a UFO. Oh, Dark Sky's is early X Files, is it? Braden, I'm all right, mate. Good to see you on. Um, and I'll look into them. Is Dark, is Dark Skies, is that a film, though? What I want is films, preferably. <clears throat> All right, cheers, Doug. Yeah, I'll look into that. Might get fourth kind. I remember watching that, thinking that was quite good. Oh, Fallen Skies is post-Alien Invasion. Nice. I don't know, something about um, T2, I think it was saying about... Um, UFO documentaries made me think oh, I wouldn't mind watching it. I do quite I do like a good UFO um film. I have not seen the Chernobyl Diaries actually, no. Skyline, uh never seen that, but that, that I've always thought that looked quite good. That got panned a bit, didn't it? But that doesn't necessarily mean it's shit. Tim, you're right, mate. He said you can still get those knives though. Um, all they've done is ban you from having a biohazard sign. The word zombie and green and black theme on your nose. That's exactly what I meant, Tim. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because you'll actually see them saying, I've seen them showing Rambo knives and claiming they're zombie knives. But again, yeah, all they've really um, banned is, yeah, a biohazard sign or writing on a blade that says violence. Such a ridiculous fucking um, law that literally stopped nothing. And it's actually it's a little bit like the Katana law in that it's probably stopped people buying a load of shit, in all honesty. <laughs> James said, the wife's sci-fi daft. Last thing I've seen her watching was um, Project Blue Book. Nice. Andrew said, I was thinking the same thing regarding your response. Some of the laws in the UK seem to be badly thought about legislation that achieves nothing. I have a Bowie... And it's not illegal. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous, Andrew. Um, yeah. The fucking laws they bring in, utterly, utterly ridiculous. And completely pointless. They don't they do anything apart from... I, I don't know what they think they're going to do. I'm sure it's just a knee-jerk thing to try and look, look, we're doing something, and they're not doing nothing, really. Oh, bloody hell, I've just been hit with a copy of Canterbury Tales. <laughs> Flying Chaucer. Does that count? Just. <laughs> that sake, so. I'm laughing more that you had the nerve to do that one. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Brain said, Chernobyl Dives is horror about some Americans who are in Chernobyl and discover a scientific program to study the workers. Besides that, no spoilers. Thank you, Brain. I knew a little bit about it. I knew it was that. That was a check YouTube out called Dust. All right. Extinction. All right. <clears throat> Freddie said, have you ever read or watched of Mice and Men? Yes. I haven't read it, but we were supposed to read it at school. But they showed us of Mice and Men at school, and I loved it. I thought that was an excellent story. Yeah. Oh, George and um, Lenny. Yeah, George and Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> E.T. Yeah, I like all the men, Freddy. You doing that at school now, then, or something? Gant said, you can protect yourself from radiation with antioxidants, according to some study at Chernobyl. Did not know that. And he said, Freddy, all British school kids read it. GCSE nowadays. Yeah, there you go. Are you ready at school, did Freddie? Yeah, nice. yeah, I like um, of Mice and Men. It's a really good story. And I'll tell you what, I've always liked Macbeth. I, I will watch any version of Macbeth. I love the story of Macbeth. And that came from school when they showed us Macbeth. And I just, there's something about the story of Macbeth. I love it. Got a lot of elements I like. 
Lone Wolf said, I just recently bought the Chernobyl Diaries on DVD. Nice one. I might buy... Yeah, I might buy some DVDs for my... It sounds a bit weird. Buy them for myself for Christmas. Um, I quite often, you know, get you, some, get you some films for Christmas, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the night all sober life has got me tired. I'm going off in two minutes as well anyway, Tacticals. Yeah, good night, mate. Good night, everyone. So, so by the way, Instant Lake County is a found footage type of my favourite type of films, Stug. That's why I suspect I've seen that one. If it's found footage, I might have seen it. Tell me a little bit about it. It's not the one with the, the two boys and the girl, is it? They go out looking for the um the UFO. That one. You're off as well, Sam. Good night, mate. Friends said, yeah, said one poor Lenny, good poor lad, good worker. Just stop strangling anyone. <laughs> Friends said, oh, cheers, everyone. Have a good one. Please. Yeah, and you, mate. It's been a good stream, and I've enjoyed it. Um, I've still got some coffee left, though. The, tr they, the trolls tried to attempt a fucking raid that failed pathetically. That cracked me up. I love that. That's the that's actually quite the handy thing of being um slightly behind on the chat. By the time I get down to the freak shows, their stuff's already gone. Ah, ten Cloverfield Lane, Steve. That I've seen and I really like that actually. Yeah, and I've got the one after that. Um, where is it? What's what's the one after that called? Oh, Cloverfield Paradox. Yeah, I've got Cloverfield. I have, I've seen all the Cloverfield. I bought, I liked the Cloverfield Paradox enough to buy it on Blu-ray. That's how you know I like something. See, so like, I'll be on tomorrow, James. If you if you're on tomorrow, I do Friday and Saturday. If you want to come on tomorrow, it's just some Saturdays I'm not on because I'm going out. But I won't be going out for probably a month or more now. <coughs> it's only sometimes if I if I and when I say go out, that's going in the garden to get drunk. Thanks, dear love. You too, mate. Take care. I'll just I'll stay for a little bit longer just until I finish my coffee. I've got like a little mouthful left. You can't quite see it. I don't want to turn it. If I turn it too far, it'll pour out. Oh, and everyone, if you want to join in the bottle cutting competition, please do. You can win. Right, if I make a knife to do, if I make a special bottle cutting knife, you can probably win that, as well as your pick of merchandise. If you've got a crossbow, you can have a crossbow quiver and some bloody broad heads. You know, there'll be some all right prizes. Um, yeah. Battle, Battle Los Angeles. I'll check that one out. Yeah, I've written most of them down. There's my um, very poor quick writing just to prove it. Don't need to wash my hands, Freddy. I'm not being for a piss during the stream. But thank you for anyone who supported me tonight. Um, that was Flazzy, I think. Timson, have you got some broadheads now, Mike? I have, but I can't sell them yet, Tim. What I'll do, though, they'll be ready, guaranteed, next week. So sometime next week, I'll do a video of them. You can get in early, though, Tim, if you want a sort of, um, if you want to, um, you know, I can't think of a word. Yeah. If you want a pre-order, son, feel free. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I just won't be at a, yeah, feel free to pre-order some. And anyone else on the stream, if you want to. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's just what I want to do. I want to make them all, get a shitload of them together and do a video on loads of quivers loads of bolts and then do the video and then hopefully they'll all be sold within a week especially with pre-orders big prepared hokey pokey yeah hokey pokey picking a pokey i may have to watch that soon i've just finished watching snuff box but i may watch it again and listen to the dvd commentaries i've never listened to the commentaries on them <laughs> that makes it tend to get in line. <laughs> number of I, number one. 
You're you're up there in the in the in the fives, I reckon, Big Ped. <laughs> Here's how I came out. I'll send you an email. Yeah. Get an email in and you can pre-order some. And I'll save you some. Um but don't worry, if they all sell out, I'll make more. You know, I'll, I'll, these this should be an ongoing thing, a constant ongoing thing. So don't worry if you don't get in, if if they sell out before you've got us, don't you? Right, I better go off quite late. I better see what my mum's doing. She's probably in bed by now, though, because she can at least get up to go to bed, <clears throat> which we're worried she wouldn't even be able to do that at first, because she couldn't at first. So, she, you know, she's getting better. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been a good stream. I've enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow around about half nine. And if I've watched any of these films, I'll tell you. <laughs> you never know. I might do. I want to. I want. I feel like watching an alien invasion type film or whatever, like an alien abduction type film. But um, whether I can get one and whether by the time I've got it, I'm still in the mood. All right. Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to join the bottle cutting competition. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. See you later. Good night. Oh, I've got the thing, Phil. I do like the thing. That's a very, very good film. Good night.